intensely frustrating. You know, if historically, not. when Richard Nixon lost in 1960, he was urged by many people to challenge the vote in Illinois, and he decided in the end not to do it because he said he didn't want to create a constitutional crisis. Now, what are these people yelling? Let's listen and turn our sound up here. Recount, they are saying recount. recount. Uh, There's no reason to think <laughs> that this election was going to end any less bizarrely than it began. I don't believe, I've heard this chant in Senate and gubernatorial races and loyal fans yell, don't concede. But I don't believe I've ever heard this on the eve of a, what we yeah. think is going to be a candidate's concession. concession. Well, well, that's right. That's right. John King, uh, you are there. Tell us uh, from your perspective what you're seeing and hearing. Well, Judy, we're told the vice president has been made aware of the fact that the secretary of state in Florida is saying this race right now somewhere in the area of a 600 vote margin. Now, what Gore aides are saying is that they don't have to ask for a recount, that if that is the final result, there would be an automatic recount under Florida state law because the results are so close. So we're told what the vice president is working on now is exactly what to say out here. He has already called Governor Bush. He has already congratulated him and wished him well, and he has to come out now and make a public statement. One aide saying that the vice president could just come out and say that if the results stand, it appears, Governor Bush will win, and if that is the case, he wishes him well. But we're waiting to hear from the vice president. He's backstage here at the War Memorial. This is another remarkable twist and turn on a very remarkable night. John, John explain, explain for us what that is. This, what is it that the Secretary of State of Florida exactly is saying? Well, I'm told by our people at CNN that right now the Secretary of State of Florida is saying that the margin is somewhere in the area of 600 to 700 votes based on the current count. Now, we have not heard a final count from the state of Florida, and we obviously need to have that final count. Governor Bush is still said to be ahead, but under most, in most states, indeed probably in every state, if the margin is so narrow, there is an automatic recount just to double check and triple check the results. So if if the final result in a state as big as Florida was under a thousand votes, you can be sure there will be a recount. 600 to 700 votes is like one floor of a condominium in South Florida. It's a very, very small number of people. And I would say, Bill, to underscore that point, it's a very, very small number of people that could determine the presidency in a race that about a hundred million people cast votes. But I don't, I'll just say it again. I don't know why we thought that this race, which you know began with the you know Florida being called for Gore, and we mapped out the difficulty that Bush would have, pulled off the table, declared for Bush, Bush declared the president. Speculation about the transition and who was to blame, and we are sitting here at 20 or 4 in the morning, waiting to see whether the vice president of the United States will concede or come out and say. Uh, it ain't we'll over till it over. That's right. Uh, Judy, uh, something to report to you here in this very unusual night. The vice president has recalled the governor and retracted his concession, oh. saying that Florida is uh, too close right now. Now, the Bush campaign reaction to this at this moment is to say they believe they have Florida. Uh, according to the governor of Florida, of course, Jeb Bush, they believe they're about 2,200 votes up with only one precinct left to count. Uh, so they believe they still have Florida. But again, the vice president has called Governor Bush and retracted his concession, at least for the moment. So Whoa. Candy and John, <laughs> does, well, let's ask a, a logical question. If we can think clearly enough at 342 <laughs> in the morning, does this mean that neither Governor Bush nor Vice President Gore will be making public statements now? We will we will see the vice president in just a few minutes. Okay, that that is confirmed, and presumably Mr. Bush will be or feel compelled to respond then. Bernie, if I could give you just a little bit more of the detail to confirm what Candy has just reported. We're told the vice president decided to do this after Bob Butterworth, the attorney general of the state of Florida, a Democrat and a key Gore supporter of that state, reached out to Bill Daly, the chairman of the Gore campaign, and said, hey, wait a minute, not so fast. 
The situation here on the ground in Florida is not certain yet. The vice president, after all the networks called the state of Florida, thought it, it was right, the right thing to do to call Governor Bush and concede, and we're told he did so. Now backstage here, he is rewriting his speech, and we're told he will give a much more general speech talking about his campaign for the presidency, how he wanted to move the country forward, and it looks like he will urge his supporters to just hang in there and keep waiting for the final results. He's not ready to give this up just yet. Why am I tempted to say only in America? <laughs> Does anybody know right now what the Florida count is? Do we Can we call that number up here at CNN? Uh, I'd like to look at at least the number that we are privy to. In the state of Florida, again, with 99% of the precincts reporting 2,890,321 to 2,884. Jeff Greenfield, do some quick subtraction. 6,100, uh, uh, more or less. And, I, and I'm. Uh, but John King is reporting that, in fact, what the Gore campaign was told that the margin isn't 6,000, which is what our uh, board is showing, but in fact, 600. Um, you know, I, now, what I, would they be basing that on? I assume that later counts than we have. Six uh, to seven hundred was what he said. Six yep. to seven hundred state of Florida, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when a fellow party member happens to be the state attorney general, Bob Butterworth gives you a call and calls your campaign manager and says, hold it just a minute. Don't go out there and make a flat out concession. What do you do? You listen to him. I think when the president, when you are about to concede the Wait. presidency of the United States, you're darn right you listen to him. I am told by our uh, executive producer, uh, Sid Bettingfield, that what's going on right now is CNN is checking discrepancies between the VNS, which is the voter news service, news service, service. which is the number, the numbers you're seeing here, discrepancies perhaps between those numbers, the numbers the Associated Press is reporting, and the numbers being reported by the Florida Secretary of State, Mr. Butterworth, uh, who we just heard John King uh, quote, uh, is having put it down to a six to seven hundred vote margin rather than the six thousand. Uh, actually, a little less than six thousand. No, six thousand. Six thousand one hundred vote margin we see there. Uh, I have to say, I've been covering elections for twenty-four years. <laughs> I've never seen one anything like this. John, but, yes. yeah. Yeah. But, but never at a presidential level. This, it, uh, this election has to go back to 1876, which I did not cover, uh, <laughs> which was the, the Tilden Hayes election, which was settled uh, where they stole the election from uh, Governor Hayes in uh, New York but, and had settled it with the commission. Yeah, but, that, but in that, that race, Bob, uh, Samuel Tilden ran well ahead of, uh, yes. of Rutherford B. Hayes. That was a corrupt bargain. We're talking here not about corruption, but about a race that is so close nationally, now 150,000 votes, so close in the state that will decide this election, that we literally cannot assert who has won the national popular vote, and I don't think we're in a position to say who has won Florida with any certainty yet. I mean, it is absolutely unprecedented. Nor can I mean, we go home. Th that's, that's quite right. so. Well, and, and uh, what is what is go fascinating ahead. Go ahead, is it, uh, go, what's go ahead, Bob Novak. Uh, what's fascinating is that you find that in the, some of these other states, which of course are irrelevant because whoever wins uh, uh, right. Florida wins the election, but uh, it's a, it's a dead heat in, a, in Wisconsin too. I mean, it, this is it's a dead oh. heat nationally. It's a dead heat in, in state after state. It was just about a dead heat in, in New Hampshire. So uh, I, I, neither of these candidates really sold the public. Are you suggesting, Bob, that we could end up with recounts in other states as well? Don't forget. No, I, I don't think. So. I don't think so. I think uh, if they can uh, settle this. Uh, uh, Florida business one way or the other will have a president. You know, it's one thing to say it's a close race. It, it, clearly, part of what's been going on with the roller coaster nature of it tonight uh, is the uh, the fact that the, we are a news organization, and there are news organizations out there that have been anxious to call these results just as soon as we were able to, based on exit polling, interviews with voters as they left the polling places and also based on key precincts, sample precincts around the different states. So it's the news organizations that, that are frankly creating part of what's going on tonight, the atmosphere, the ups and the downs. We gotta John go to King, you are in Nashville where they clearly feel like they've been lifted up and pushed down and lifted up again. Confusion reigns, I think, the theme for the night right now, Judy. The vice president backstage here at the War Memorial in Nashville. We had been led to believe we would hear from him any minute. Now we're told 
we will hear from Chairman Bill Daly. Chairman Bill Daly of the Gore campaign will come out and speak to this crowd. And one senior aide telling us a few moments ago, for now, the vice president will keep quiet, stay behind the scenes here, and keep monitoring the developments. Unclear whether Mr. Daly will say he's calling it a night and will wait till tomorrow, or whether they will continue to monitor the results. But for now, this crowd, up and down and up and down and up and down in its mood, will hear from the Gore campaign chairman, Bill Daly. And as you're seeing, right now, we're in the middle of an up. And here he is, Billy Daly, the former Commerce Secretary, the brother of the Chicago mayor, and the chairman of the Gore campaign. Before he speaks, John, we, CNN will confirm there Thank will be a much. recount in the You're state of good. Florida, and CNN moves it to the I undecided to the column back tonight. from George W. Bush. Well, let me say, uh, I've been in politics a very long time, but I don't think there's ever been a night like this one. Just an hour or so ago, the TV networks called this race for Governor Bush. It now appears, it now appears that their call was premature. Let me be very clear about this. According to the information supplied by the Secretary of State of Florida, with 99.9% .9 of the vote counted, there is a margin of only about 1,200 votes out of millions cast with over 5,000 votes left to be counted. This is a very significant for most important reason, and that is for under Florida state law, this triggers an automatic recount. And as everyone knows in America, this race has come down to the state of Florida. Without being certain of the results in Florida, we sim simply cannot be certain of the results of this national election. Let me add that Vice President Gore and Senator Lieberman are fully prepared to concede and to support Governor Bush if and when he is officially elected president. But this race is simply too close to call. And until the results, the recount is concluded and the results of Florida, Florida become official, our campaign continues. So let me, so let me, yes, so let me, so let me, so, so let me thank all of you, let me thank all of you on behalf of Vice President Al Gore and Senator Joe Lieberman for waiting out here so late tonight and we hope to have you back very soon. Thank you very much. Good night. Well, Bill Daly, the uh, chairman of the Gore campaign, you just heard it. We're all, uh, I think we can hardly believe our ears. He said, uh, until the results are official and certified in the state of Florida, we are going to continue our campaign. He did say that the vice president and uh, Joe Lieberman are fully prepared to support the Bush-Cheney uh, success, victory, if and when they are certified elected. But he's saying that hasn't happened. And yet. he's also saying we will not be hearing from the vice president or Senator Lieberman tonight. There will 